What's up guys, this is Alex Rome and before the video starts I want to do a little survey with you guys in the comments section below. I want you to tell me who your favorite EDM artists are, who inspires you to make music. I want to know who your 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 list is. So go ahead, hit the comments with your top three EDM artists. Let me know. I want to know who you guys are listening to, who's inspiring you, and where you're finding this. If you got like a favorite uh, YouTube channel with EDM music on it. Um, any EDM subgenre, future bass, future house, uh, trap, anything. I want to know who your favorite people are right now and let me know where you're finding this stuff. Like, uh, what channels are you listening to on YouTube? What SoundCloud people you listen, what SoundCloud labels are you listening to? Um, you know, are you listening to most of your stuff on Spotify, like streaming it? So who, who's your favorite artist, guys, and who's your favorite labels? Let me know in the comments section below. It'll really help me out. Let's get into the video. What's up, guys? This is Alex Rome, and today I'm going to show you this really, really cool thing that you can do with your voice within Logic Pro X. And you don't really need any third-party plugins to make this sound cool or anything like that. Um, what we're going to do today is I'm going to record my voice I'm going to sample it within the sampler that's built into Logic Pro X and then I'm going to show you this really really cool way of processing it to actually sound like an instrument you've never heard before. Alright, so uh, I've been doing this for a while, like doing this sort of sound for a while. I've been experimenting with different, uh, with different ways of recording it for it to come out sounding cool. So uh, if you got a deeper voice, or if you're like a dude, um, you know, with a deeper voice, or a female with a deeper voice, what you want to do is like hit like a higher octave with your voice. So you can't like just go into the mic and be like, ah, uh, or oh, uh, because when you down pitch that, it'll get really like gritty. So what you want to do is you want to uh, record it high pitch, like, oh, something like that, because when, when, the, when you down pitch something like that it's real smooth and it's not as gritty it doesn't sound it gets like when you when you do it like to record it too low uh and then you down pitch it it gets like really alien sounding and gritty so i got some chords here probably the nicest chords i laid down in months <laughs> these are the chords from a song i listened to used to listen to a long time ago um, it was like by Max Bear and Grimm, I think it was by, I'm not really sure because I haven't listened to the song in a while, but I do remember the chords because they're iconic. Like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a uh, cool little, uh, sound, electronic sound with my voice. And then we're, we're going to, fuck are we going to do? Harmonize with this. <laughs> Yeah, I love forgetting videos. My videos are so unformal. I said forgetting videos. I love forgetting words. My videos are so informal. Ooh. 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 I want to go a little longer just to give myself some editing time. When you record a vocal sample like too short and then you up pitch it, It'll become like a millisecond long and it's so pointless. So give yourself some time. Ooh. 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 I don't know if I like any of these. Let me get like the perfect one. Ooh. Let me see this one. It looks a little short, but... doesn't matter I can I can use something like this because down pitch I'll actually get a lot longer and I've recorded it pretty like high anyway so what you want to do when you get a vocal sample uh, it doesn't automatically do this I'm searching for a way to maybe automatically do this maybe logic has a way to do this but fade it in and fade it out one oh! so it doesn't do that little clipping sound in, in Ableton it does that for you and that's like the best feature in the world I love that because it just saves you that much time from fading things in and out you know so let's drag this down into here Ooh. 
Oh, I have so many oh me's, man. Oh me. Oh, please don't be taken. I hope that name's not taken. Here we go. <laughs> All right, ready? So here we go. Let's harmonize. <laughs> So watch this. I actually don't like that sample as much as I thought I was going to. I have another sample in here that murders it. So let's see what this one actually sounds like uh, with my little trick. So I like using Valhalla Vintage Reverb, but I know I said I wouldn't use that. So I'm going to use Chroma Verb and try to get the same result. It won't be the same result. It'll be similar though. Uh, Valhalla's reverb is thicker, so it's very better for making like these in your own instruments out of the reverb, which is which we're kind of doing right now. So, uh, I want to try to make this sound a little bit better. This is not usually something that <laughs> works within this sampler because now the speed's going to get messed up. That sounds sick! Never mind. That actually sounds real tight. See, like, you never know, like, when you're sampling your voice or sampling any sound, for that matter, you get instruments that are unique, that nobody has, and then you come up with shit like this, and it sounds really, really, really awesome. so pretty yeah there you go guys you could do heaps of stuff with that and like you can even record the vocal for a longer amount of time add a lot of reverb on it and now you got like this crazy vocal pad um i'll give you a couple things you can try try different octaves try different recordings like i was like oh so try to do different things like Ooh, ah, something like that or if you don't have a microphone that'll actually even be cooler because then your recording will be a little rougher. A lot of people say like, oh, I don't have a good microphone. I can't record my voice to make a crazy sample out of it. Well, you're actually wrong because uh, recording things through a rougher recording sometimes creates a better sound, a better, more unique, dirty sound. Because, uh, you know, like you're processing it anyway you're throwing a bunch of reverb on it which covers up the recording and you're EQing it which kind of covers up the recording so um, plus you can you can 
edit this to no end. You can add Bit Crusher to this and make it sound like really crazy. And I do a lot of my leads like this now because I don't like synth leads. I'm just like, I, I dried myself out with synth, synth leads, you know, it gets old. So now what I try to do is make unique sounding leads with my voice. So hopefully you guys can do something cool like this. And if you do, just send it to me. I would love to, love to hear what you guys did with this little trick. Comment your comments in the comment section below. Check out Alex from Sound for my sample packs, my courses, and my lessons and services. And of course, subscribe here if you're new. Hit the little bell so you get notified every time I make some crazy heat like this video. And hit me up, guys. Follow along every day. We're doing videos every single day. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching.